This is the town hall of Wilma, Alabama. It is here that designated Americans can vote. The polling inspector is Greg Evans. On the job 25 years, but very unfamiliar with the voting laws. Today he refused to certify for hours a Dan Wiley poll watcher and even threatened the young girl with arrest until the district attorney told him to certify her. And we have been waiting outside to hear something from them, from our people, and we've just now found out that Mr. Evans called Mr. Graddock and he found out that it's okay that we watch, that we can come in later. When I attempted to enter the building, I was forcibly pushed outside. Wait a minute. Are you Miss Evans? I'm Evans, yeah. Well, all right. Now, just take it easy for a minute. Can you tell us what the problem is out here today? No problem no. at all. I just told these uh, laws, Ben, that you had to be in. Don't turn that thing in my face like that. Go ahead. Take it easy. Calm down, will you? Okay. 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 Just calm down for a minute. Now, we've been in polling places all over the city today. What's the problem here? Why, why would you be like this? I can't help it but you. If I, if I let you come in here and everybody comes in here, we ain't got no, we can't run the poll like that. Just call you for news media, it don't make no difference about that. There is nothing in the official instruction folder to exclude the media, but freedom of the press apparently is not one of Evans' concerns. Mr. Evans apparently has been doing things his way for nearly 25 years, but it may be he'll have to review the law before the November general election. Dick Darby, Channel 10 Newsbeat.